All right, guys, so I don't know what I just did. I just bought four units at the auction. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. And, uh, yeah, they told us that they give us one day to clean them out. So, obviously, I might need a little more time. <laughs> Let's see what we got ourselves into here. All right, what's up, Walker Nets? We are at the auctions today. Live auctions, undisclosed location. I'm not gonna tell you where I'm at. That's gonna remain a secret, but what I will disclose is that I got four units today. Crazy. This one is not the first one I bought. This is actually the third one I bought. Why am I here first? Well, because it's the easiest one to clean out. I'm gonna show it to you right now. You're gonna see what I mean. You ready? You ready? You know what? I was wearing my lucky shirt today too. That must have been part of it. Okay, you guys ready to see this? Ta-da! That's it. That's all she wrote. Two suitcases and a duffel bag. A little bit of junk on the ground. That's it. Let's take a closer look. Okay, view from the door is just that. <laughs> Not much. A little bit of junk down here. I'll grab a garbage bag. But here's what we got. Uh-oh, that looks like garbage. Okay, so we got these two suitcases right here. This is our hope. Oh, empty. Oh, empty, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, guys, I think I made a mistake on this one. Okay, that's how we're starting it off, huh? I saw these two suitcases, and what do you think I thought? Suitcases full of money, right? Suitcase full of what? Who knows? My imagination definitely got the better of me. I definitely overpaid for this. But, yeah. I think this is garbage right here. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. Oh, man. Man. All right. Well, at least I may have overpaid on this one, but I'll tell you what. I didn't overpay on the other three. I'm going to pick up another one in just a second. We'll take a look at that too. But here's the deal. The management, this is the first time I've been at this auction. The management said they do not want us going through the stuff on the property. They want us to take it off site and go through it there. Um, I'm not sure of the reasoning for that, but I'm going to respect it, right? So I'm going to load these up, put them in the car. Let's head over to the other unit. Take a look at it. Okay, guys. Locker number two, which is also the last one I bought today. This one, much better deal. I only paid a dollar. One dollar. Let's take a look at that. You ready? Ooh. That's a little better, isn't it? A little bit better. Hmm. All right. Let's take a look around. All right. Yeah, I mean, this one is not going to be the big huge find of the century or anything but for a dollar this mountain bike right here looked pretty decent mongoose i know this is a cheap brand mongoose used to make good bikes but it doesn't look too bad though but this is a oh look at this this is from a moving company i believe so hmm. we got a heater here temperature turning things getting colder uh that's good these lamps mm -mm. No, take that straight to the thrift store. I don't really have much luck selling those. A little bed frame there. Uh, got some, what looks to be um, moving paper, like that they wrap stuff with. So this is definitely looking like a leftover locker. And we got a little bit of DVDs in here. Okay, some CDs. That's not bad. Okay, and books. That's not good either. And then we got, uh, so what do we have here? Mattress board, it says. One piece king, two piece king, queen. Hmm, what is a mattress board? Mattress board. Maybe it's just a mattress box, huh? Maybe there's mattresses in there. Yeah, I think that might be what it is. Mattress board means mattress box. So let's hope those mattresses look pretty decent because I can get some money for those. But I'm going to get these, again, i got to get these loaded. Can't go through it here. 
load those on the truck and let's bring it all home all right you guys so now we're back at my unit about to go through the stuff that i pulled out of those two lockers it's a big duffel bag here let's start with that it's heavy that's a good sign got this big old duffel bag so when i first looked in it it definitely looked like trash and let me get you a little better view there we go how's that you can see a little better which was this kind of stuff here it's pretty much empty okay well maybe it's not all trash because there's a brand new pair of scissors right there and those look pretty decent that's a good that's a good start start and what do we have here oh look at this some kind of a ziplock machine huh vacuum and seal okay we just sold one of these not that long ago when i've gotten out of a unit and it's sitting in my garage forever i think we sold it for 85 bucks huh. i don't know if this is the trimmings or if that's the actual bags but that is kind of interesting we've got some aloe gel here here's another duffel bag wow it's okay it's not it's not quite as big as the outer one but it's another huge duffel bag those definitely come in handy okay here we go the vacuum sealer rolls this is good this will go with that ziploc machine some vinyl examining gloves i have a feeling someone's in the food service powder this i think Put on your hands before you put the gloves on, I think. It's a good Sharpie. What's this? This is another one, Food Saver. This is like the other one that I got, but that one was brand new. Huh, Food Saver. And there's an accessory port right here. I wonder what that's for. Oh my goodness, here's another one. Food Saver. You know what we're gonna do with these? We're gonna bring these home and look them up. And see how much they are. Some of these do have some pretty good value. I'm also going to have to figure out how to work them so I can test it. And make sure they work. So, there's a whole bunch of these rolls. Most of them depleted like that, which is why I thought it was garbage. But a few good ones too, like this right here. So, this is good stuff. Really good stuff. Depleted. I'll bring this home, put it in my recycle bin. It's all cardboard. Another box of sealer rolls. It's a pretty good one. Mainstays. What is that? Target brand, I think. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> There's another one. Okay, well you remember I paid 120 for this for this locker with the suitcases, and I was really disappointed at first because those are empty. We got four sealer machines so far and uh, a lot of bags and stuff there's gonna be some value in this like i said i had one of these food savers brand new just recently sold it for 85 but it came with a huge box of these and it was brand new so there's another one and here's another one how about that another sharpie and another scissors Decent scissors too. What do we have here? Brand new razor, Gillette. Two bucks. Another box. Okay, I got the garbage kind of sorted out. Got these laid out back here. Uh, what else we got in here? Febreze, couple Febreze, brand new. That's good. A whole bunch of these. What is this? Replacement indicator. Replace when the dot turns blue. Maybe these are supposed to go inside of these little baggies that get sealed by these machines. I don't know. There's a ton of them. Though. Dirty socks in there. It's kind of a strange, strange. Oh no. All right. I know we're jumping around a little bit, but. This is that box that I found in 
the one dollar locker that I paid. Let's see what's in here. Okay, we got a bunch of CDs. Christian music. All right. You don't want really to sell burn CDs. Bass is how it should be done. A lot of fitness DVDs that are brand new and not open. <laughs> Which is why fitness DVDs aren't really worth all that much on the resale market. Because I think a lot of people buy them, don't use them, and sell them. But I'll tell you what, this morning, I just this morning, I sold this kit. It was one of the step kits. It had the big plastic step, a whole bunch of DVDs, a weighted bar. I don't know what you do with it, but um, fitness said it was called The Firm. That's, what it, that's who makes it. And it was brand new in the box. We got it out of one of the lockers. Actually, it was Jana's junk mail locker. And um, sold it for 150 bucks this morning, just this morning on eBay. I just dropped it off at FedEx right before I came here. So there is some money and some fitness stuff, but I'll tell you most of the stuff like this right here. Mm -mm. A little Bible. People have been telling me always check your Bibles because there's often money inside. I've never found money inside. There's a photo inside, but no money. Okay, guys. So I'll take this stuff home. I'm gonna look these up. Probably list the food savers locally. This other stuff I'll probably just put in a box at home for the uh, flea, next flea market trip. That box with the books, I'll donate to, to the thrift store. I don't really like dealing with books. They're too heavy. Got the couple duffels here. Garbage bag started. So we have this heater right here. This little floor heater. This thing's not bad. It's just a little dusty. But it's a DeLonghi. It's decent. Um, should get $5 for that. Easy. And we got these suitcases. So I know they feel empty. We're going to open them up and see anyways. American Tourister, I'm going to list those for 20 bucks each. I don't know if I'll get that much for luggage, but they are in nice condition. They're a little dusty, so we'll bring them home. We'll clean them up and uh, get those listed ASAP. They look like they've barely been used. Let's see. Let's see. It feels empty, but we're going to have to make sure. Oh, man. What is in here? Okay, got a few pieces of clothes. It's all, it looks moldy. When you first open it, it looks moldy. It's not mold. I have a feeling it's a baby powder. Right, what were these guys doing? What are they doing with the food saver stuff in the suitcases? Very suspicious, isn't it? Very suspicious. I think they're up to no good. in this one this one's much better i don't see a powder problem in this one it says ifi huh. thought it was american tourster as well but it's not it's an ifi that's a nice suitcase and then this mongoose right here we're gonna also take this home i think and clean this up get this listed this is nice easy 50 bucks i'd say what do you guys think 50 bucks on this one 5061 aluminum. Well, maybe it's a little bit better. Well, it's not that light though. But uh, we've also got that bed frame right there and the two mattresses. So I'm gonna look, I'm gonna open these up right now and take a look and we'll see if those are clean, sellable. They're very light, so I don't think they're a very good brand. The, the better brands tend to be kind of heavier in my experience, but these are light, but I'm gonna take a look and see what we got. All right, that mattress looks pretty good. The boxes are doing their job because they're keeping it very protected. The mattress is clean. At least the box springs clean. I didn't open the other mattress box. I ran out of time. I'm gonna have to go back over there, take a peek. I didn't see the brand on it, but you know what? As long as it's clean, I can sell it. And I'd say if I have the two clean mattresses and the frame, probably 40, 50 bucks. And if the boxes themselves, I'm gonna have to look those up. I think I can get... 20 bucks a box and that's probably a really good deal but i might keep those because they sure do come in handy but right now let's take a look at some of the other stuff i brought home all right check this out pump the tires up tighten the handlebar and give it a little wipe down 
this thing actually looks pretty nice surprisingly i think these bikes sell for like 120 dollars on walmart could that be right <laughs> that's what i googled i found it 120 bucks i don't know that just doesn't i don't know if that seems right but um hmm. nice looking bike i just listed for 60 bucks online i've already got like four people inquired and one guy's on his way right now to get it so um this will be gone soon not bad for a dollar all right some good news these guys have some pretty decent value i think each of these sell for at least 50 bucks each and um with each one i just list them locally for 25 and what i did also is i'm bundling each one two rolls of brand new sealer so um the sealer rolls are about 11 bucks brand new so you got about 61 dollars retail on sale for 25 not too bad but this guy right here this one's a little bit better surprisingly this one's over a hundred dollars and i don't really think there's that much different it just has a spot in there you can put the roll and feed it this way and you can trim it this way um i tested all of them they work perfectly it's pretty cool you put the little plastic in there you slide it in and um sucks the air out and seals it closed oh, that one's opening right there oh no it's not yeah it gets a pretty good seal doesn't take long either it's pretty quick so i tested them all they work great so 25 25 25 and i listed this guy for 50 and i'm including four rolls with this one so that's 125 bucks that's my locker cost if i get it so we'll see so we're gonna be all right thanks to the food saver the vacuum sealers Whew. luckily i think we're gonna be all right as long as we can sell those we can sell the luggage we can sell the other doodads we're going to be okay. But the dollar locker, that one's all profit, right? So all good. But I did buy two others that day. Um, one for 50 bucks and one for 250 bucks. Unfortunately, in my $50 one, I didn't get the footage on that one. But the 250 I did. And I'm excited to show you guys because this one I'm most excited about. I can't wait to get back and dig on that one. But here's how that looked. All right, so this week I'll get back. I'm going to look at the $50 one, which is also good. You'll see that soon enough. It's really, really interesting. It's got some interesting components to it. But the $250 one, I'm going to be digging in that one for a while. A while. I'm not actually sure how I'm going to do that since they won't let me go through it at the facility. Well, we're going to have to figure it out. We always do. I hope you guys like this video and uh, the story that we're telling here. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Show me that you like this sort of thing. And make sure to subscribe and hit the notification button so you'll be alerted when those future videos come out. All right. So we got great stuff coming, guys, but you're going to have to wait for that until then. Good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. All right, guys. So for the next video, I was thinking about getting to this little stack of boxes right here. This is all from the Vintage Gamble Locker. I still have a little bit left. A lot of old paperwork and photos. This, this thing here has got some old fragrances, so we'll see. But the electric company is about to cut our power out because of the fires. So we're going to have to see if we can get a video done or not.